Hi, Peter Lisiaga here, and welcome back to another episode of Living Strong Adventures, where we dive into the heart of resilience, simplicity, and finding strength. Now, right now, it's four o'clock in the morning, and I'm here, coffee in hand with lots of cream, just the way I like it, reflecting on some powerful truths. There's something about these quiet early morning hours before the world wakes up that lets you get real with yourself. And this morning, I'm thinking deeply about a concept that I've come to embrace over the years, finding strength in simplicity and how simple movements build strength and momentum. Now, at 63, this journey has taken me through some powerful realizations, and it's these that I want to share with you today. I often reflect on how if I knew then what I know now, there's a long list of things I do differently, maybe fewer unnecessary risks, less time spent overcomplicating what was simple, and certainly a more mindful approach to both training and life. But here's the thing, those choices, even the ones I might have changed, taught me lessons that I now am grateful for. And as I aspire to get back on the mats in 2025, this knowledge, this wisdom shapes my path forward. You see, my time from the mats has been anything but a pause. Although I've faced physical challenges, my journey as a martial artist has continued to deepen in the mental, emotional, and spiritual realms. And as I prepare for my second hip replacement surgery, I'm experiencing a real clarity, a calling, if you will, to embrace the next chapter. This journey of recovery and the Living Strong adventure I'm on has become about sharing what I've learned over 63 plus years from my beginnings in the Bronx to my days as a dancer and performer and my evolution into martial arts instruction, teacher, author, and someone who has a passion for empowering others to live strong. There's a special kind of wisdom that comes from going through the fire from stepping back, recalibrating, and returning with something to give. And as I get ready to walk back onto those mats in 2025, my goal is to share the power of patience and the strength that can only be found in simplicity. It's easy to get caught up in the big moves, but there's a unique resilience in mastering the basics simple, deliberate movements build strength over time, whether it's in relationships, parenting, or our professional lives. These simple movements give us an anchor, a foundation that stands firm through the inevitable challenges and changes of life. For me, this next chapter isn't about physical techniques alone. It's about teaching the principles, the hundred plus concepts and ideas I've talked about in previous episodes that have empowered me in life. Each of these principles has been validated by real experiences, especially the mistakes, the moments I've stumbled, and the lessons that truly humbled me. So when I say finding strength in simplicity, I'm talking about something deep rooted. As part of this journey, I'm disconnecting from the noise, stepping away from social platforms like Facebook and Instagram. This time of that proverbial isolation is giving me clarity, clarity on how I'll step forward, how I'll return to the mats to teach and to train in 2025. This time, my focus is on the principles of martial arts that I've come to love and trust, especially in Jiu Jitsu, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, which became part of my life in 2010. For me, Jiu Jitsu has become foundational, an art that teaches you how to find strength in the most challenging moments and hold steady in simplicity. Now, as I move forward, I invite all of you to consider the power of patience and the value of embracing simplicity. 
and life strength isn't just found in the big moves it's found in our ability to master the basics to stay humble and to keep showing up as I get closer to my return I'll be unpacking these principles one by one in the way that only experience and age can bring they're hard-earned and they're real Thank you for joining me today. And remember, whether you're in your 20s or like me, blessed to be living four or five or more decades of life, find your strength in the simple things. Trust in the power of small movements, of little acts of resilience. And know that as we move forward together, there's always an opportunity to embrace simplicity and live strong.